everybody. Welcome to all women that are phenomenal, and this is Miss Ruben coming at ya. Um, I'm just coming in to coming at you for a few things, um, to tell you some things that I've been doing, and also I had put my body shot in of what I'm looking like now. So when I get busy, um, my doctor's appointment I thought was Tuesday was. I thought it was Tuesday, but it's tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure he will hopefully release me and all that good stuff tomorrow. And if that's the case, then, uh, you know, I'd be going hard, y'all. So, anywho, I wanted to tell y'all, show y'all some things that I've been doing. Um during this time anyway okay um I also um I've been taking the the chia seed now this is a uh, 5 gram 5 grams of fiber 3 grams of protein 2.5 grams of uh, make that real fast because it'll swell and that's actually what it does in your stomach it swells your stomach or whatever. Now, if you find that your stomach is getting like bloated from drinking it, um, it has the directions on the back, like how you're supposed to drink it. I think it's like, I think it was every time you eat a meal, I believe. And if that's too much and you feel your stomach is like um, looking bloated, then back up from it a little bit. Maybe drink one, maybe one glass every morning. You know, just cut back from the recommended dose. That's good as well. Also, <laughs> what I um, was taking too before this happened was the ab cuts. Um, I got these at Walmart, I want to say. And um, it had the CLA in it. And I always stress to y'all to make sure that y'all take the CLA. Somebody wrote in to me and told me the CLA made them sick or whatever. Make sure that when you take CLA, you eat it with food. You eat the CLA with um, food. Don't, eat, don't take no CLA on an empty stomach. Um, this one has, uh, it says midsection formula CLA. It had it have 80 capsules in it. Now, I only bought this one time. But when I was taking it and um, doing a little bit of working out, I did see a little bit of difference. Not that much. But I it got more in it than um, just CLA. And it says... Um, it lean it's a it helps to lean your tissues, your hip area, your stomach area, and things like that. And you're supposed to take this like you take three in the morning, three at lunch, and three at dinner time. And I'm trying to think have I seen these anymore at Walmart or anywhere. I don't, I can't recall seeing them anymore. I know they won't sell when I got it. And I can't remember how much. But one thing I can say that these did though, besides the um, um, plain CLA, they curb your appetite. I'm going to say that. Stomach, hips, butt, omega 369. And it's a soft gel, so they will be easy to take. Um, most of the CLA are, is a soft gel. This, though, when I broke it up, it kind of smelled like fish oil. You know, the fish oil pills. Kind of smelled like that. So, I say try these. But I want to say this. Like, nothing's going to, like, work by itself. You're going to have to put in a little bit of work with anything that you do so try these if you can find them at your Walmart or GNC <laughs> another thing 
so I feel that's been helping me as well as I've been eating plenty of um, the Progresso Light soup um, and it don't taste too bad y'all um, this one that I'm going to eat in a minute is um, chicken and dumplings and I really like this one and another thing that I've been substituting like for like if I want something sweet or whatever I've been eating jello yeah jello it has been like taking the sweet like the sweet taste away from you know when I'm craving something sweet or whatever I'm not a sweet um a sweet intaker but it seemed like when my tonsils was bothering me I, I always wanted something sweet and I think because my throat was hurting and I saw I think I just wanted ice cream or something. But um, now, like, if I just have an urge or won't feel like I do, I just been having a bunch of jello in my uh, refrigerator and um, of different kinds. And it seemed like, okay, and that little small jello, yeah, the, the what is it, strawberry and y'all know, the little cups. And um, I eat that, and I have no no desire to have anything sweet. So try that, y'all. Um, and that's been working. So I just wanted to come in and share those few tips, and maybe that might help you guys on your on your um, weight loss. Cause I'm just letting y'all know that I'm already starting. I have been starting. You know, even though I got some things going on, but I, you know, have been strong because I told y'all, this thing going to be no plan, no, no game plan, no nothing. Um, y'all will be seeing some probably major progress this time. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as exercising and all that kind of stuff. I don't know yet, but um, I will let y'all know. But... So far, even though my stomach is puffy, <laughs> as I don't know what, um, I'm very satisfied with getting in um, an outfit that I couldn't even get in. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, y'all. Um, what I'm showing y'all right now is um, my body, and no, I'm not trying to show you my body, baby, not at all. Because we all know what's going on. But, when before I went in the hospital and everything, I could not wear these um, pants right here. These pants is an 8, a size 8. <clears throat> I can wear these pants now. And, um, so I had got these pants back out uh, yesterday. Today is, what's the date? Today is Wednesday. Uh, I can't even tell you the date, but today is Wednesday, and I go to the doctor tomorrow. Tomorrow, so I said, let me see if I can wear these um, pants. So I know after probably like a week after the surgery, mm -mm, I couldn't button these pants. I couldn't do none of these pants. These pants wouldn't even um, come up my leg. Okay, so now I can button these pants. And everything, zipping them, everything. I do have my spanks on up under my pants. Um, I know I ain't supposed to, but um, it is what it is, okay? Um, so yeah, so I'm showing you. So, this is what I'm looking like like now. I'm gonna sh also show you the size of the pants and all that. I'm gonna show you what my stomach looks like. I'm gonna take. I'm going to roll this, the spikes down and let you see what I'm talking about as well. Okay. See, that's swollen. See, and, I mean, you could just like, like feel it and stuff. Just feel the swellness of it, you know. Cause I, I mean, if you go back, I'll leave a video of um my stomach, and it's just like feel like pulse or something, you know, in it, or whatever. 
Um, this is where they went in at right here. And it's just fussy. So we know that we have a lot to do. So uh, anyway, but am I still happy? Yes. I'm still happy, still um satisfied that I'm still going down somewhere. I don't know where. I've been drinking plenty of water. Um, doing my fiber stuff. I will show that to you guys somewhere in this video. Um, so I know when my stomach go down or whatever, everything, uh, I guess, go in together. So, I'm making progress at whatever I'm doing, you know, whatever. Um, so I will show you guys, um, the fiber stuff that I've been using and all that kind of stuff. Um, I guess in the next segment of the video. I just can't wait for the rest of me to go, you know, my stomach to get back intact and go back down and everything, you know, come in together. So y'all see what I'm talking about in the clip. I could not get in those pants, no way, no how. <laughs> <laughs> and um so i'm happy about that so this is lakeisha all women that are phenomenal y'all keep on doing what you're doing and uh we gonna make it happen you know it might take a minute you know a little while but hey you know we gonna make it do what it do and um whatever again whatever i find um to help make it do what it do, I will make sure that I bring to y'all and all that. Um, I'm thinking about bringing um, some cooking videos and stuff like that over here. So, stay tuned for that. This is Miss Rubin, all women that are phenomenal, and I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.